Welcome back to another Whiskey Quickie, and today we're taking a look at somebody who went from beer into the whiskey side of the house, and this is New Holland's Beer Barrel Bourbon. Are you a big fan of the, the New Holland Dragon's Milk? Yeah, I love, I love that stuff. That's yeah, good stuff. It is, and this has a big tie into it. So this is an 80-proof bourbon that has been distilled by New Holland. It's non-age dated, but it was of course, aged in American oak, and then it was finished in their Dragon's Milk beer barrels for an additional three months of aging. Wow. So you get that onto it. I can only have like one of those, or it's like night-night. I can do two, <laughs> and then after that, I'm good. Yeah. This is a also a pretty pretty decent value, $25. Wow. So one of, the, I think, the lowest price ones we've reviewed in quite a while. So let's dig in and see what we got going on here. All right. On to the nose. It's like a, let's get like a little bit of a pear, peach pear. Yeah, it's like, uh, there's some kind of cocoa note in there kind of too. Mm -hmm. I'm getting a little bit of coffee grinds, um, fresh ground coffee or something. Yeah. I'm kind of smelling. I, I like that. Let's go, <laughs> with the t let's go on the taste here. There's some fruitiness there. I think we were talking beforehand. It almost has like a single malt characteristic to it. Yeah, it definitely tastes yeah, like a malt, American malt whiskey. Yeah, there's actually get that really strong pear note on the front. Mm -hmm. And then it really opens into like kind of that chocolate cocoa. And I I feel like there's like a stout. I'm drinking a stout on the back. <laughs> end. Like that, there's a little bit you of know, that some of that stout. beer grain, you know, like f flavors on the back. I feel like I just drank a beer on the back yeah. end. There's Maybe a, it's in my mind, but it might be. But there is a little bit on the back on the back end where you do kind of get that roasted sort of uh, coffee, sort of you know stout like flavor. Yeah, that is kind of flowing back there. Yeah, let's go ahead and rate it. So on the nose, where are you at here? Thumbs up. I liked it. I thought it was pretty good. I kind of wanted to go on sideways, but hey, you're the, the main charge. fans going sideways. I know, I know. But I, hey, I pulled up that pair of notes. So who yeah, knows? there you go. On the taste though, where are you at? Uh, sideways, I mean, there's some good things I like about it, but it's very muted. It's very soft. Um, if you're a beer drinker, this would probably, and you haven't made your way into whiskey or bourbon, this would be a great transition because it's nice and easy and you're going to get a lot of familiar flavors that you get with a, you know, a, a stout craft beer. And at 80 proof, of course, much easier to drink. Yeah. And the finish. Uh, sideways, there's not a ton. It's just kind of flat. Um, at that low proof, there's... You know, and it, I swear, I feel like I just drank a beer. And <laughs> so it's kind of throwing me off. Uh, maybe it's in my head, but uh, yeah, that's, that's it. Well, let's go pair a beer with this afterwards. But with that, cheers, everybody. That is our review for New Holland's Beer Barrel Bourbon. Cheers. We'll see you next time.